Nicole Moore Perulo walks her dog on Phil's trail every morning. From December to March 31st, it's usually super peaceful. But when the gate opens to drivers in April, peaceful is hardly accurate. We see a lot of excessive speeding, res reckless driving, um, long-term dwellers there. You're supposed to move your vehicles every 14 days. Nicole says she's witnessed drug deals, a meth lab, and a bus, and was once followed by a camper in the area. People are staying there for months on end, creating like these makeshift housing situation where they're dumping lots of their garbage around. She says she's called police up to 50 times about various situations in the area since she moved to Bend five years ago. Last week, she started a petition online to call for the gate to remain closed. A lot of people have reached out to us. 1,800 people, to be exact. At least, that's how many signed the petition by Wednesday afternoon. The U.S. Forest Service admits it could make a change. We will certainly take that petition. Um, what it leads to next, whether that's, you know, opening up an environmental analysis and looking at closing that or not, um, certainly is in the purview of uh, the Ben Fort Rock District Ranger. The Forest Service isn't able to remove campers unless a federal court orders it. Nelson Dean is not aware of campers being moved from Phil's trail. We do have efforts where we do cleanups out there. We do try to work with social service agencies and nonprofits to connect those people to the resources they might need to help them get off the forest. But Nicole and many other petition signers believe those efforts just aren't enough. This is just not a safe situation. And it's been really hard to get anything done because no, nobody is, I feel like nobody is working together to get this done. Carly Olson, Central Oregon Daily News.